is great when you're feeling like you out of sorts you happy one moment and then you feel like you ready to turn somebody's head off the next that would be great Lipton makes calamine tea and so does Bigelow and that's B-I-G-E-L-O-W um, please keep in mind there's one I know Bigelow does they make a variety of the calamine tea they also make um, no caffeine tea but I think they have one that's called relaxing and calming the relaxing, you take that before you go to bed, you have a good night's sleep. Trust me, been there, done that one. Um, but the calming really helps with just kind of chilling you out, you know, where you're not so much on edge. And you don't even know why you're on edge. So Bigelow and Lipton, I know they make calamine tea. You can get that in your drugstore, Walgreens, Kmart, Walmart, your grocery stores. So look into that, but if you cut down on your caffeine intake, chocolate, candy, um, hot chocolates, sodas, those things are very high in caffeine, and you will notice a difference in your um, your mood. And I know around the time of the month we might crave that chocolate. I'm telling you, you give into that craving, it's gonna be a rough seven, three, five days for you. Because also with caffeine, that heightens your your cramps and, you know, all the tenderness you have going on, you know, and all the irritability, you, you know, you don't have patience for anything. Taking B6, 200 a day, and I said that in a previous video, but I want to stress it on this video, because since we're talking about hormones, if you take that every day, and you combine it with the reducing of your fried food, your high fat food, um, also reducing your cal I mean your caffeine, you will notice the difference in your whole attitude. So look into um, those three things: reducing your fatty intake, your high food fat intake, your high fat intake food. Sorry, fried food. Um, reducing your caffeine. Coffee. I don't know if we got some people out here that are coffee drinkers, but we all know that's high in caffeine too. If you can get you some decaffeinated coffee just to kind of help you out, because we know some of us need our coffee, um, you'll know it's a big difference. A big difference. I also wanted to talk about Metafilm and a couple websites. I'm going to try to remember two. There's a site, there's a channel on YouTube. I'm going to put that in the box as well. This doctor talks about metafam and talks about spirolactone and what they do. Also, WebMD, um, if you type in post no, PCOS or PCOS and metafam, it'll bring up a lot of information. For those of you that have been currently um, just diagnosed with PCOS, just kind of give you some information. Um, also, if you type in blog or message board, one thing I found over the last month um, about Metafilm, Metaform or Glucifage, however people want to refer to it, it helps in the weight loss. As ironic as that seems, because I hate taking it. Especially since I'm insulin resistant, the Metafilm does help with regulating your insulin levels. Um, and with a regimen of working out, which I gotta finish this video so I can do my workout tonight. With a low fat diet and your workout regime and taking the Metafilm, it will help you lose weight. I've been reading about women <clears throat> They have experienced this. I um, mean, and everybody knows that each individual results vary. But this is what has helped me. Even though I hate taking it and combating the side effects, it has been my ally in dropping the weight. So, Metafilm, taken as prescribed by your doctor, will help in the weight loss um, combined with your diet and your exercise because as I was reading do you know there are women who don't even have PCOS and doctors have prescribed metafilm to helping their weight loss 
especially if it's due to insulin like being a diabetic it kind of helps now there are women who it didn't help them at all but I'm here as a witness that it did help me and I really drastically changed my eating habits along with that and working out I lost the weight so I want to encourage anybody out there that's not really wanting to take the metafilm or having any doubts about it do your research um, and then see how is it going to work out and be beneficial for you again that's web d web it's a web webmd.com um, they also have like I said the message board and the blog you know you can just read about different women's experience and how they're dealing with it story I'm sure my story on YouTube if I type it out I'm just gonna be done <laughs> so I just choose to share my story this way or share some of the things that I have found that are beneficial for me um, and just do your own research so you know for yourself um, that it could help in your weight loss if you find yourself overweight don't be discouraged or uh, frightened for information because you know what the more information you know the more knowledge you have the more understanding you have the more power you have over your life in dealing with this syndrome please please read as much as you can without overwhelming yourself so you know that you can live with this disorder and it doesn't have to control your life alright guys I hope this video was beneficial and thank you for listening as always bye bye <laughs> It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under.